Well, it looks like if you want to be a wizard, you're going to need a good gaming PC because um, while we've got some gameplay trailers and things like that that I'm playing behind me right now for Hogwarts Legacy, uh, the Steam page was just updated with the system requirements and I've got a lot to say about that. Your PC very well might not be ready. So take a look at this. Um, at first you might be like, well, okay, a GTX 1070 for the minimum and a GeForce 1080 Ti for recommended. Okay, that's a little heavy, but those cards are getting old now, so not that big of a deal. And hey, that's actually 1080p 60 FPS, not 30. So that might not be the end of the world, but here's where things get a little bit dicey for me. Notice the additional notes say that this is upscaling at the performance setting and that for recommended, they're using upscaling at the quality setting. So actually, neither of these are using, uh, are actually able to play at native 1080p 60 FPS. So in other words, the GTX 1070 at low quality settings will only deliver 60 frames per second if you're upscaling an extreme amount. Upscaling a performance setting, now they're not being clear on what upscaling technology is being used here. So clearly, uh, well, I don't know, it might support DLSS. This is clearly not talking about DLSS if we're talking about a GTX 1070 or an AMD RX uh, Vega 56 um, because they don't support DLSS. So this could be FSR. If it is, it could be 1.0 or it could be 2.0. But a lot of other game engines have their own, um, you know, temporal upscaling and have kind of switched into using these standard settings like performance, balanced quality, and ultra quality uh, that DLSS and FSR use. So these are coming a little bit standardized. And, and what's scary about that is that upscaling at the performance setting at 1080p usually doesn't look very good. Um, and now if we're talking FSR 1.0, like a spatial upscaler, it lo usually looks quite bad. FSR 2.0 or some other temporal upscaling solution can look a little bit better. But guys, that's an extremely aggressive upscale. That's running the game at a very low internal resolution. Now, upscaling at the quality setting can usually look significantly better, but at lower resolutions like 1080p, it's usually still somewhat noticeable that you are upscaling. So what I'm actually wondering is if this might mean that the PC version of the game doesn't have a lot of scalability in the actual graphics settings. Um, because uh, it just seems like if you're playing it at the low settings, maybe you're not actually able to reduce a lot of the really heavy settings very far. Maybe they're not very impactful. And perhaps that's, that's why they're relying so heavily on image upscaling. Uh, rather than on just reducing graphic settings. But that is speculation on my part. Now, where might your GPU fall in relation to these? Well, let's look over at the tech power up uh, relative performance chart and set the GTX 1070 as a baseline. Now, whenever I look at this, I, I need to remind people that this is not perfect. This is, in my opinion, the best chart like this online for these purposes, because it just, you can easily scroll through all of these GPUs, uh, see how they compare. But keep in mind that in individual games, the, the relative performance between two GPUs can often be very different than what's in this chart. Although as a general average, these can be fairly good. Although the older the GPU is, sometimes the results can be a little bit more out of date. But we can see that that GTX 1070, which they're listing as the absolute minimum, along with the RX Vega 56, which is generally a little bit stronger than a GTX 1070, uh, they're right around in line with an RTX 3050 if you're looking for a mo more modern GPU to compare that to. So keep that in mind. They're saying that an RTX 3050 class of performance would only be able to run this game at low settings with an extreme upscale just to get 1080p 60 FPS. That's what I'm saying here, guys. That seems very aggressive. And if you're down at something like, okay, a 1660 Ti, 1660 Super, that's pretty much equivalent performance. A 980 Ti is a bit weaker, but if we drop down to like a 1660, uh, you know, uh, uh, GTX 980, a 6500 XT, RX 580, GTX 1060 is still extremely popular. You're now falling pretty far below that. And you, so you're probably not getting 60 FPS. You're probably 
um, you know, falling short of that even at the very low settings with upscaling. And if you're on something like a GTX 970, uh, a GTX 1650, um, you know, if, if they're right about the 60 FPS, then this would be falling down to around 30 FPS, even with the upscaling. And you can see, uh, again, 1050 Ti way down there, that th this is gonna be, uh, looks a little bit brutal if these system requirements are actually accurate. The game is still five months into the future, so maybe things will get better. Now, if we scroll up, you can see that, you know, a more powerful GPU, you know, that uh, like a GTX 1080, you know, 20% more power, you know, RTX 2060. But guys, that's not gonna make up for upscaling at the performance settings. So just getting up to the native 1080p low settings, um, I would imagine actually needing to be, um, jumping quite significantly. Are we talking like RTX 3060? I mean, I, I don't know, man. These look kind of crazy. Except probably not because if we now jump up to the, okay, where does our 1080 Ti go? Well, our 1080 Ti or RX 5700 XT, which remember is still 60 FPS 1080p, but we're now talking higher settings um, and the still upscaling, the quality setting, which is kind of nuts. Well, let's set the 1080 Ti as a baseline. Okay, so 1080 Ti as a baseline. Um, and again, the 5700 XT is, is you know, close, but, but rank, ranked a little bit lower here. Again, game by game, that, that can swing either way though. Um, sourcing cards like, uh, you know, an RX 6600, a 2060 Super, a RTX 2070, actually falling below this, this point, uh, which would, still be, again, not even running at a, a native 1080p high settings. And so if we scroll up here a little bit, we'd want something, uh, you know, a, a quality upscale. It, it, you can't always tell, it, it varies game by game and graphics card by graphics card, but I don't think it would be unreasonable to call that maybe a 20% gain. Um, so if we wanted 20% more power just to get to what I would guess would, would just be running it at native without any upscaling, um, that's putting us up here into more like 3060 Ti, 6700 XT territory. And we're talking for high settings, uh, 1080p 60 FPS and just trying to get rid of that upscale. Now, if you're trying to move into 1440p territory, um, especially at the native resolution, I don't think it's unreasonable uh, to be like, man, are we having to jump up to like a 6800, something like that? Well, the, the systems requirement chart doesn't go that far, but I've got to say this looks to be a fairly demanding game given what we have to go off of here. Now, um, there's a few other things we can look at, like the CPU requirements, which um, while not... Uh, completely insane or anything, they are certainly not the lowest CPU requirements I've seen. So the minimum is in i5-8400, which if we look at that, that's a six core, six thread. So no hyper threading uh, from Intel that came out in 2017. And then if we compare that to the recommended CPU, an i7-8700, we'd be jumping up to a six core 12 thread. So it has hyper threading and I believe also boosts higher um, from that same 8000 series generation. Now, if we're looking at the AMD side of those things, the minimum is a Ryzen 5 2600, which is six core 12 thread. Um, and this came out in April of 2018. And then that jumps up to a Ryzen 5 3600. So the next generation, still six core 12 thread, but had some um, definite improvements to its overall gaming performance per core. And that came out in 2019. Um, so that is our jump from minimum to recommended there. So it's looking like they're not recommending anything below at least a six core six thread CPU. Um, now, Again, though, that's for 60 FPS. So if you're willing to go to 30 FPS, I would imagine that you could get away with something less than that. Um, now, if we look at the other stuff like memory, um, eight gigabyte minimum, 16 gigabyte recommended, that's pretty standard these days. Um, 85 gigabytes of space uh, on your drive and SDD is a typo, they mean SSD. Uh, is preferred while they do say they will support a hard disk drive. And then um, 
other than that, I, I don't think there's anything too mind blowing here, and we don't have one of the big charts. Maybe when this game comes uh, comes out uh, or closer to its actual release date, we'll get more information. But for now, it looks like uh, February 10th. We still got a long ways, so perhaps the system requirements uh, could tighten up by then. Uh, but for now, anyway, things look like it could be rough to run on lower end or older GPUs. And uh, I mean, we'll see how it goes. System requirement charts are not always correct. Uh, sometimes it's just what they've actually tested it on. Um, but like I said, they're recommending some really aggressive upscaling uh, for the lowest quality settings at 1080p. So what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section. I hope all of you have an excellent day.